welcome students in the next in this lecture we will see how you can solve the questions 8 and 10 which is related to the differential equation asked in the gate 2017 in mathematics exam so firstly quick uh, quickly is what we uh, what are the questions are there this is question number 8 in the gate 2017 exam related to the integrating factor of the differential equation you will get the one marks and the one by three as the deduction question number 10 is the general solution of the initial value problem again you will get the one marks with the 1 by 3 as the deduction. So you can see you can get a 2 marks and these two questions are very very easy and you can get a question you can solve the question within a half minute. So when what is the integrating factor are there? So integrating factor is related to the exact differential equation. So what is the exact differential equation is whenever you have this form m dx plus n dy is 0 this differential equation is said to be exact when you find this is there. This is the necessary and the sufficient condition for here. Now you can apply the same trick for here. Since this is the integrating factor, so you have to multiply this with the here and here. So you can equate the coefficient of the dx. That is, if you multiply them, it will be my 6x to power 3 y raised to power 4 plus a x to power 4 y cube. What is the n is? If you multiply this term with here, it will be my 6x raised to power 4 y raised to power cube plus b x raised to the power 5 y square. Now you can compute the partial derivative with respect to y here. What is the partial derivative with respect to y is nothing but my 24 x cube y square plus 3 a x raised to the power 4 y square. Now you can equate the coefficient of the uh, you can partial derivative of n with respect to x. So it will be my 24 x cube y square uh, y cube plus y with respect to the x are there so it will be 5 b x raised to the power 4 of y square now can you equate the coefficients are there so you can sorry it will be my y cube you can see 24 y cube are there now you can see this will be cancel out so what is that 3 a is equal to 5 b so which one is the right answer you can see this is the only right answer for is this problem now this is the one of the again simplest are there since this is the solution there is no need to solve the problem what you can do is you have to firstly satisfy this differential equation here what will happen 4 is 3 plus 1 minus 0 is a true you can take the derivative and then substitute here if you take the derivative it will be my 6 and then minus of 2 minus of alpha you can easily find the value of alpha this is nothing but my 1 is 4 minus of alpha alpha is my 3 it means this option cancel out, this option cancel out, either of them too. Now how you can find the value of beta? You can see if you find the auxiliary equation here and your roots are not the complex number, these are the real number. It means beta must be of the minus of 4. Because if beta is minus 4, then m is my plus minus of 2. So therefore c1 and c2 which are constants are there. So right answer is my here yeah, that's very simple there is no need to solve this problem there is no need to find the particular integral and so on so right answer is my here so this is the way you can get the two marks within a very quick manner we will see some another questions related to the linear algebra of this paper in our next class till then subscribe my channel share this video with your friend thank you very much